Welcome to the presentation called Domains and Hosting, Your Internet Address in a Nutshell. When you're first setting up a website or a series of websites, you'll probably hear people refer to the word domain and the word hosting. And for somebody that's new to the game, it, it can get a little distracting and get a little confusing. So in, this presentation should help you understand all of the basics in just a few short minutes. So let's dive right in. First of all, domains. Your domain is just your address on the internet. So when somebody types in www.websitetips.ca, for example, that's the domain of our website. The good thing to note, note about domains is that they don't cost all that much to buy. For about 10 to $12 per year, you can own a domain. And I often encourage people to buy a number of different domains if they have business ideas or other things they'd like to own an internet address for. It's a very cheap thing to do. You can go out and buy domains as you see fit and as you need them. There's another component of having a domain called a domain controller. The domain controller basically just controls where your site points. I'm going to talk about hosting in a second, but basically when somebody types in www.yourbusiness.com or whatever your site may be, people need to be routed to a computer so they can actually see the contents of that website. And so it's your domain controller that controls where that website ends up going. In terms of buying domains, a couple things I want to point out. One, if you go to godaddy.com, it's probably the easiest and cheapest place to buy domains currently available on the web. I buy all of my domains here, and for we do it for all of our clients, and we generally buy domains for around the $10 to $12 range, as I mentioned off the top. Some other things to consider when you're buying domains. In some cases, you might want to include keywords. Keywords are anything that you're trying to index in the search engines for. So if you sell auto auto parts, you might want to have the word, you know, auto parts Canada in your, uh, you know, in as a part of the uh, domain name, but your keywords are also in the domain name. Another thing to consider is the length of ownership. You, by default, you can buy the domain for a single year, but if you are willing to spend a little bit more, you can actually own that domain for as, as many as 10 years. So if this is something that you know you're going to want to own for a long time, then buying it over a span of 5 or 10 years will actually make your cost per year cheaper. So it's something you're going to want to take a look at. The other thing I like to mention is that you should look at getting yourname.com if it's still available. GoDaddy will tell you whether or not the website you're looking for is available pretty much right away when you see, as soon as you start entering a search for it. And I also, I also recommend for people to get the domains for their children because uh, they are it's like real estate. It, it will go away if somebody buys it. So if your kids' names are available for 10 bucks, go ahead and grab it just so you have ownership of them. You never know if they'll want to use it. Hosting. Hosting, like I mentioned earlier, but defined, it's a computer that stores the files of your website. So if you need your website published on the Internet, a computer needs to publish that information live and on the Internet. And... Nobody really uses their own computer to do this. They buy hosting packages to do it. And so there's, some, there's a number of different commercially available hosting packages that are relatively cheap, and the average cost is around $10 to $15 per month for a new uh, internet or a new website owner. If you, if you have a really busy website with thousands and thousands of visitors, then you're probably going to want to look at a bit more of an expensive hosting solution. But if you're just getting started, which most people watching this presentation are in that boat, 10 to $15 a month is all you need to budget for your hosting of your website, which is still very economical. And finally, just some recommended hosts that we've seen uh, working very successfully for small business and new business owners. HostGator.com, Yahoo Small Business Hosting, and Bluehost.com are all great hosting services. Again, they fall into this cost per month category that I mentioned above, and you'll find all the information, all the support you need from these people.